Good morning. This is Thornaby. This is one of the canals that goes into Thornaby Business Park. And this is the river, the River Tees. It's navigable here. This is about a mile up from the barrage. You do occasionally get seals here, but it's fresh water. I've never seen a seal, but I've been told them all. It's full of pike, roach, bream, perch, and I'm not quite sure what else, but I'm aiming to find out. I brought with me my trusty four meter whip. It's elasticated for those who haven't seen my videos before. And I believe I'm gonna be fishing it quite deep here because though it's only a couple of feet at the edge, it shells off very quickly. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'm gonna plumb the depth first and just work out where I'm fishing. So I'll plumb the depth and we're fishing just about five and a half, six foot deep up to there. Not as deep as I thought it was. The shelf must be a bit further out, but it's all I can reach with this whip, so that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put a ball of ground bait in. Um, it's the green bar ground bait I was using in my last video. Um, I've frozen some maggots, they're going in with it, and I'm gonna fish um, frozen maggot on the hook. I'm just gonna show you the shoal, hopefully you can make it out through the camera. Shoal of young fry going past there. It's absolutely heaving with young fish. There are a lot of predators in here, a lot of pike, a lot of big perch. And uh, yeah, they'll love those. Anyway, back on with the fish. So, dealt with the problem with the snacks. Got a fish. Nice little perch. That's my first real perch in 2023. Well, that's my first fish in the river in 2023. I've got about 20 minutes left. I've been here for about 10, so we'll see what happens in the next 20. See some guys spinning here. Really popular spot. It's gorgeous. It's fishing all the way along there behind the Burger King. Nice free fishing. Just need your rod license and you're away. So the problem of fishing on the bottom when you've got all this wood in is that, especially when you've only got 40 minutes, is that you then hit a snag and have to put a new hook on because your hook clean goes. So uh, that's taken another 10 minutes up and I'm down to my last 10 minutes now. Um, one fish. It is a lovely location, but it would be nice if it wasn't so snaggy here. Might have to find a spot that hasn't got such a collection of wood for next time. But this is right next to where I'm working today, so quick jump out for my lunch break. Again, something happening to the float, but I don't know if it's the bottom or fish. There's plenty of small stuff around, but is that small stuff or is that the bottom? We'll have to find out. And it's the bottom again. Got off this time. Let's move it a bit further out. Now that float's not settling this time. I'm wondering if that was something. I'm just going to put it back through that run. See what happens. And there we go. We have a bream by the looks of it. A bream. We'll get that off and back. So is that a skimmer or a common that's still silver? Sorry, is it silver or is it a common uh, that's still silver? I think it's a common. But I'll get it unhooked and back in. A nice little skimmer from Thornaby. So, last five minutes now. And that's a roach. I'll bring it in. Yep, a nice roach. So it looks like the fish has moved over the ground bait when I've only got five minutes left. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been a lovely first trip out on the river, a bit short. Hopefully get here on a weekend and have a bit longer. But uh, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to uh, meeting you on the bank at some time. Thank you very much.